Hi there. Today about how you can enter the timeless dimension. Obviously beyond human condition, which you can, because mind is eternal, timeless. No space and no time. Like time is just really a function of space. If there is no space, there are no distances distances you can travel from one spot to another there is no time the same as if you watch in some old movies that where there is a certain spot outside somewhere that you can enter when you enter that spot then you can move through the time whether you go into the pre into the future or you go into the past in reality it's exactly like that there is a certain spot if you want which you can enter and, and you end up in a timeless dimension where all the times are non-existent or present at once. And of course, this particular spot that is, that is usually presented as being somewhere outside that we have to look for is actually, of course, inside, inside the mind. Because, as I always repeat, mind is everything, mind is endless. It's actually no time in no space. So you enter there and you enter this timeless dimension. And it's a very subtle, subtle sort of a difference. When it happened to me the first time a long time ago that I sort of by chance entered this timeless dimension and it seemed like the, all the boundaries sort of opened and the sensitivity actually increases in, immensely. And it's just as, as if the time stops and everything stops and you obviously stop existing. There is just this immense boundlessness. And that is what mind is, immense boundlessness. Those times when I used to, it used to happen to me actually to enter, and it happens to all of us really that we enter this timeless dimension just by chance. But there is actually a way to do it intentionally and, and to access it really whenever you feel like it and, and to stay there for as long as, as, as you feel like it. What actually happens once you reach that level of the mind that's still and boundless and, and timeless, everything sort of happens at once. At the same time as the, mind, as the mind is actually still and timeless, on the surface there are all these different formations like thoughts and different other impressions floating, coming and going, flooding and coming and going all the time, appearing and disappearing nonstop all the time. But they do not affect this timeless, boundless dimension that is the mind at that level. That is what is. So it's all really possible. It's actually not a not a thing of a science fiction or anything like that. It's actually something that we can do on everyday basis, something that we can do ourselves, that we can reach ourselves. And then the more time we spend there, the more time we sort of rest there. Rest. The faster we'll be able to progress on a path to complete enlightenment, see things exactly as they are, directly, without any human conditioning. That's why I say beyond human conditioning. And although I use the expression eternal, eternal eternity, of course, these are all words, all these, all this I talk about now, using the words, words are just some sort of a markers or some sort of a tools, if you want, that are useful in a way that they broaden your understanding of what is possible and what is actually here, but they're completely useless when it comes to the practice. When it comes to the practice, you have to drop absolutely all the mental concepts, absolutely all. And that's when you can enter the timeless dimension, the eternal mind, absolute freedom. Where there is no space or, as they say, nothing, emptiness, but it's just nothing, no space, no time. It's available to 
each one of you. Not bad, is it? Take care. Bye-bye.